What's up, folks? Family and I are in Cal Allen, Texas today to do a little toy shopping. Let's head inside. Alrighty, so we're inside. I walked, made my way to the toy aisle, and it seems to be quite stock today so i'm gonna dig through all these boxes and see if we can find anything cool there's a lot of these uh mega constructs for anybody that collects these i've noticed a lot now and you know how ross is usually it's not great until we get to october november december the holiday season and then they start loading it down and here you go i needed this i picked up three of the four of this uh ninja turtle wwe wave this is a uh, volume two and all I need is this one here, the rock, Raphael the rock. So I'm definitely going to take this one. <clears throat> we got some three and three quarter inch black series. That's cool to see them here. This one's in good shape, actually. And they, it looks like they have the entire uh, wave two of the turtles. So that's cool as well. If anybody's looking for them, maybe they're circulating again here. Here's Rowdy. The late great. Piper Man. Here's the Demon Baylor. Balor. Apologize. <clears throat> so, yeah, here's the wave. It's these four. And I do have three at home. I have never opened, so maybe I'll open them up now that I found the final one. Got a lot of little trucks here. This is cool. Little uh, medals. Superman and Batman set. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> Got some DC figures. Looks like that may be about it. We still got a few uh, Transformers here. I don't really collect these these premier ones, but <clears throat> it's cool that they have them. Got some little Donald Duck figure there. Got some of these Mighty Mugs. If anybody collects them, I do not. <laughs> <clears throat> a few of these little marble figures. All right, so we made our way a couple blocks down the road, and this is a, a pretty large Walmart, it looks like. So we're inside. Here's the toy aisle, and they are stacked. It looks like there is a lot of toys being uh, fronted here on the pegs you see we got a lot of the lost world jurassic world correction <clears throat> looks like they have all the new the new figures the zia and the mercenary i see and uh got all the new the new wave of dinosaur dinosaurs as well i dig these uh these real simple DC figures here. They're pretty cool looking. Got Harley, Robin, Batman, Joker. It looks like they probably have them all. <clears throat> These I have not seen before. Got the Spider-Verse going on here. And they are loaded as well with the Marvel Studios figures. I, I do want to get this uh, Red Skull eventually. It's, I think, about 25 bucks. If it drops below 20, I may uh, army build a few of them. They're pretty nice. <clears throat> they have two pack here. There's an Iron Man. There's the two pack Thor. Crossbones is super cool. Uh, Ant Man and Wasp is very nice as well. <clears throat> Let's see here. We got some Avengers. That's about it for Marvel. I don't even see any of the new multiverse. <laughs> Some collectible cards. Look at this. They're pretty stacked with the new turtle line, the Rise of the Turtles. This is the first time I see the, the main villain, this uh, mystic magical guy. <clears throat> first time I see him in the wild, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they have all four turtles here, which I'm glad to see. I don't see April. 
think April's the only one I don't see here. This is the guy's cool Baron. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> Might take him. Let's see. Oh, look what we have. Speaking of the hedgehog or hamster, I guess he looks like. <laughs> Master Splinter. I don't know. They, they went totally different direction with his look. It just doesn't have... It doesn't look like a rat to me. It looks more like a hamster. <laughs> Here's the two vehicles that I've seen come out with this wave. One of them's a two-wheel vehicle. This is pretty cool. Comes with a figure. 20 bucks. Since space is kind of an issue for me, I'm not really collecting vehicles or play sets currently. But, you know, it's all good. This is a really good looking, whatever it is, military vehicle. <clears throat> Here we have like a whole new wave of uh, Harry Potter figures no. that I have not seen before. Here's some small vinyls. They look pretty neat. Oh, hey. I actually do like these. Looks like they got Haggard. Okay. They've got Weasley, Harry, Hermione. Look at this section. I just found this clearance aisle, and they've clearanced, like, all kinds of stuff. The Black Panther Wave, they have only have a couple, but it is $9. Here's Submariner. It's only 9 bucks. The Black Widow uh, sports bike and figure is only $19. Also, I've, been, uh, I've heard from other hunters that the Ghost Rider, if you can find him and his bike, he's only $19. So I definitely want to pick him up. <clears throat> Uh, if I if I run into them again, got nine bucks on these multiverse, but it seems to be the only the only one they have is uh, cyborg with the mother boxes. Power Ranger got some of these little uh, mini arcade games which look really cool. Oh look what we got here, we got Kylo Ren. This is nice helmet, lightsaber. Everything's in there. It looks great. That one's only fifteen dollars. What a deal! Some Transformers on clearance. So it's nice to start seeing them clearance up. I'm sure now that the holidays are coming, they're making room. So look at that. That's a great deal. Yep, it says for the Black Widow. I'm not as crazy about this, this one, but if I find Ghost Rider, it's definitely I'm going to take him. This one's nice, though. I mean, I'm sure there's people that, that will dig this figure. Let's see around the side here. That looks like some just games. I think that's going to be about it for this clearance aisle. <clears throat> All right, folks, so made it back home and I want to show you what I picked up. I got a, a few items uh, mail and I got a few items that I purchased. First one we're going to look at is this is the brand new Splinter from the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line that just came out. I went ahead and picked up the splinter. I know I've talked like I don't like him, but I actually do. He kind of, he's rubbing off on me. Like it took a while to warm up to him, but he kind of looks like a Kung Fu Panda style figure. And he's so different from the original uh, splinters. And all, I mean, several, this is the first time I see them go like in another direction other than the real typical rat look. So we're going to pop him open. I want to take a look at him and his articulation. Looks like he comes with uh, two Chinese stars and he has his walking stick. The walking stick's very nice. It looks like to be sculpted really well. It's just one solid uh, color. There's really no, nothing to it in the way of paint apps, but the sculpt of it's very nice. I like it. So I'm gonna cut through these little wires and get him open. So here he is standing. <clears throat> he looks really cool with his outfit. I really like that out the outfit. So his arm, all it is, is uh it's on the ball up at the shoulders and that is about it you can swivel it around you can't do much more uh legs also they move front and back and that's about it you can't do anything else with them as well the tail doesn't even move for me i don't think it's even an articulation point so there's nothing you can do with the tail which is fine it's not in the way the head spins and it has a waist pivot as well waist swivel it pivot it swivels uh around so very very limited and he just like he's just like a little round ball <laughs> but definitely looks good so let's go ahead and stand him here with his cane he also has his little throwing stars here they have all come with these so far which is fine it's just a solid piece of gray but a little bit of sculpt to it pretty nice he can't really hold him but uh he comes with him <laughs> 
So here we have our new spin splinter. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out some older splinters. I actually have a 88 splinter that's complete with completely complete with uniform with his, uh, the little jacket he wears and his, his weapons, but I couldn't find it, but I dug out these, uh, five other splinters that I'm going to show you just as a comparison. So these three to the left are 88s. This one's an early 2000s, I believe. You can see the difference. But I think all these, and here's another one as well, that's a 2000s version. <clears throat> I actually like him in the orange outfit. I think he looks really good. But these all look like rats, like he's supposed to be. <laughs> the new one to me just really looks like a hamster. <clears throat> but that's okay. I still like them. So here's a comparison of these guys. <laughs> All right. Also, uh, online I purchased this uh, Rock and Roll Ralph. Ralph. I don't know why I keep calling him Ralph. Rock and Roll Raph. And uh, he doesn't come with any accessories, but he's in great shape. Extremity's all great. I love the color of this guy. He's very vibrant colors. I don't know if you remember him. He actually came out in a early or mid 90s rock and roll uh, bus and they have all the rock and roll turtle wave that came with it i do want to get that bus eventually i really like the bus but i'm going to go ahead and uh for now put him on this turtle motorcycle that i purchased recently as well it looks really i think it works with a rock and roll ralph i think a uh, rock and roll raf i think it looks really good with this motorcycle <clears throat> so that's the way i'll be posing him for now we have uh, also if you look to the left here i uh won some more turtle stuff on an online video. auction i'll he go ahead and let you watch this weapons. and when it's uh, over we we'll do have, discuss have it have the side just cool uh start this off at eight bucks yep start this off at eight dollars super cool piece especially the dinosaur Scott's at eight. Josh at nine. You too, Ronnie. Have a good night. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to wait for the lag to come down. Kevin Michael Coleman. Kevin Michael Coleman at $22. Yeah, Hannah, he does end up keeping a lot, as you can see from the background, though. <laughs> but that's part of the fun. Sold to Kevin. Great buy. Your bingo ball number is I-19. I-19. We have one more I one more item to go before we spin the wheel. Woohoo! All right, so I've really gotten hooked on these online toy auctions, and I've gotten some great deals, better than eBay, to be honest with you. Uh, that gentleman's name is Andy Cook. He's an excellent seller, auctioneer. So I definitely, if you see him, I'm going to give him a shout out right now. He's uh, someone you can really trust to do business with. He has some great stuff, especially if you like turtles. Uh, but he, I've gotten everything from him. Anyway, to match this uh, dinosaur Donnie, I actually have this uh, Leo also. He's like a, a Triceratops. I need to get the other two, though, that are dinosaurs. But... Uh, it's coming along the collection. Also, if you saw uh, when I was going through Ross, I found this uh, Rock WWE wrestler. This is like a crossover Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure uh, that came out with. They actually have two waves. This is uh, the second wave, this figure, and I've completed it with all four. I do want to get the first four of wave one, as my buddy Dave pointed out that I don't have yet. <laughs> but I'll find them eventually. So anyway, this is the four of them, as you can see. You got uh, Finn Balor, which is uh, Leo. And then you got the Warrior, you got Rowdy, and then the Rock. So here he is out of the box, and I think he looks awesome. I really like the, the style of him. He comes with a lot of cool accessories. This one comes with a belt. He comes with two dumbbells to work out. And he also comes with a mic that has the WW logo on it. And it also has the turtle logo. I think it's a very nice display piece. So I'm very happy to have, have it. And this belt is actually really nice too. So definitely cool. As you can see, he has the uniform on with the Rocks logo. He actually has the Rocks tattoos as well. 
painted on him. I think it looks really good. <clears throat> His articulation is very basic, as you can see. You can spin the arm around. It's on a hinge as well, on a ball hinge. The head spins. That's all, though. It doesn't move uh, front or back. So it's just on a peg. You got single knee as well as a single elbow. But uh, it also spins at the at the knee pad, which is cool because it kind of hides the articulation point with the knee pad. Looks nice. So all in all, I think these came out really nice. I do dig them. They're a lot larger than the other turtles. These are 6-inch, and the regular turtles are 5-inch. But uh, I think they did really well with them. I'm definitely satisfied and very happy with uh, the way these came out. So here he is with all his accessories. I had a trouble getting the belt on him, so I'm just going to kind of drape it like side, like this, side sash style. And he's holding his uh, mic, and he's got the dumbbells. So like I said, this is one of four. Here are the other three behind him. I have them all now. This wave is complete. And uh, since I have went ahead and opened up Raph, I might as well open up Donnie, Mike, and Leo as well. So we can see them all four together. Here we go. As you can see, I think they look wonderful. I think Wave 2 is my favorite wave only because these are very colorful figures. The characters they're portraying, like Finn Balor and the Warrior, they were such animated, colorful characters in the wrestling industry. So I think they tr all three, all four of these translate very well into the turtle mashup here. I'll go ahead and show you as well all the accessories they come with. Of course, uh, Mike comes with this the bag here for the Celtic-style Scottish uh airbag i can't go and blink on what it's actually called and then you got here with uh finn baylor i believe he came with the stairs i think they're a very nice very nice little uh addition to accessories it's kind of cool that they put in this also he came with a, a section of fence with the turtle logo on it as you see here <clears throat> i love this kind of stuff whenever a figure comes with these things kind of like how selects marvel and diamond selects come with so many extra accessories it makes it a lot of fun now uh the ultimate warrior came with this camcorder which is kind of odd but it's cool he has something to hold i do like the camcorder there's no paint to it really they have a couple stickers on it that makes it look real nice he also came with this breakaway tabletop it doesn't come with the legs but the tabletop is really nice, uh, especially for an accessory piece. You can. I'm planning on buying some type of ring to display all my uh, wrestling wrestling figures with, so this would be a nice piece as well. Also comes with the bell <clears throat> and the hammer. I think that's kind of cool for some dynamic poses or displays. So we'll go ahead and set that there. So this is the four with all the accessories. I'm really, really happy with them. I think they look really, really good. We'll go ahead and set um, all our other purchases up here in the same shot with them. So we have Dinosaur Donnie. I don't really know what his name is. It's some kind of caveman lion that they came out with or something. <clears throat> and of course, uh, Leo is riding him. And then we'll move in with our splinter and our couple other splinters. And we'll set up our motorcycle with Raph, Rock and Roll Raph. So I can show you everything I actually ended up picking up or purchasing today. I think uh, Rock and Roll Raph looks wonderful on the bike. Of course, here we have Leo as the Triceratops. Here's the brand new Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splinter. Looking mighty dapper. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and set him up here on top of the table and the stairs. <laughs> Since he's so short. There we go. He looks really good major size difference there and get them in the shot a little better also let's go ahead and grab our other splinters that we use today for comparison <clears throat> we'll just kind of hang them put them around the other figures in a this is going to be my uh, haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I ended up picking up all turtle stuff, so I thought it would only be fair to just show them all to in this one video. Uh, it just so happened that turtle stuff came in the mail, and I purchased on the same day, so <laughs> it was meant to be. Anyways, guys, this is Kevin, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, reminding you never give up that hunt. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you liked it. Subscribe, please. Y'all take care. Pew, 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 pew. Peace. Thank you.